Hi, I'm Brian from Innovation Lighting, and today I want to talk to you about one of the main goals for any lighting designer. How to light the stage for visibility and how we can cover the whole stage with a nice even light. Since most stages are fairly large, we need to break down the stage into manageable chunks. We call these lighting zones. Uh, these zones typically we aim for about 8 feet to 14 foot wide. Um, if you go much larger than that, then you lose a lot of intensity. And if you go smaller, then it just requires an impractical number of fixtures to cover your stage. But breaking it down this way kind of allows us to light up the whole stage evenly, or we could just light up one single section of the stage. The next step, once we have our plan, is to draw out our lighting zones on the plan. So remembering our 8 to 14 foot wide zones, we kind of need to figure out which will fit our stage the best. And ideally, we want all of our zones to be about the same size. So, for example, if we had a stage that's 50 feet wide and 30 feet deep, we'd end up with probably five lighting zones across and then three of them deep for a total of 15 different lighting zones. Um, and our lighting zones would probably end up being around the 12 foot size so that we have a little bit of overlap between each of our zones. One of the things I like to do is make sure that I have lighting zones that land right down the center line. Center is always being used. It's one of the most important parts on the stage, so we want to make sure that we have a lighting zone right there and we know we've got them covered. So now that we have our lighting zones planned out, our goal is to light each one of these zones the same. So for each zone, we try to get the light as similarly positioned relative to the center of each zone as possible. That means when we bring them all up together, it'll create a nice, even wash across the stage where the angles of how the light's hitting people will be consistent all across the stage. So you'll want a lighting fixture that covers that whole lighting zone from your hanging position, and you'll want it to cover that whole lighting zone at six feet so that there's not holes and gaps in your coverage between your zones. Now I know every space doesn't necessarily allow for this and is going to be a bit different, but part of our job is to find uh, the best options available to us in each space. So for visibility, the absolute minimum amount of fixtures we can use is one. The best way to go with one fixture is to just do a straight on shot from out in the audience to each one of your lighting zones. Ideally, you're looking for about a 45 degree angle up from the face of the person on stage. This will provide the most kind of natural lighting on the person on stage. Extreme angles tend to be make people look a little unnatural. You know, too steep, you end up with shadows under the eyes, uh, under the nose and chin. Um, and if you're too flat, then you kind of wash out all the contours of people's faces. So you lose some of the uh, natural shadow under the eyes or under the chin. So better than using just one single front light is to use two. Um, ideally, you split these two lights 45 degrees off of center for each of your lighting zones on stage you still want to maintain that 45 degree upward angle um, as it's still the most flattering angle to light someone's face with. But using two in this way allows the light to fill out the sides of the people's faces a lot better and it creates a much more 3D visual of that person on stage. When you just use one light, it really only highlights the front of the face and you can see the light falling off on the sides creates a very one-dimensional look for people on stage. You can take the two front light system a step further by adding that straight shot light back in. That front shot, it just allows you to add a bit more fill on the center of the face and help blend the two fixtures together, creating an even more even light across the people's face. Another important part of the lighting system we're creating is the use of backlight. It helps fill out the shoulders and the top of the head, and it really helps pull people out of the background. So using the same lighting zones to plan out your backlight, we'll go straight back from the center of each of these zones and up about 15 degrees. This creates an ideal kind of backlight shot onto the shoulders and the head. 
if you go any steeper than that, the light can bleed out over the front of the face and create uh, really harsh shadows in the eyes and under the chin. Um, and any flatter than that, and it's really hard to control the light, and it'll tend to shoot off the front of the stage and potentially into the eyes of the audience. So depending what kind of fixtures you're using for your stage wash, uh, you may need to add some diffusion gel. Um, ideally, you want a nice soft light with a very soft edge. That way, you can blend the two lighting zones together a lot easier. If you have a really crisp edge to your light, it's really noticeable as a person walks from one light into the next light. And that diffusion and that soft light really helps minimize and blend those two together. So it's very unnoticeable as someone crosses the stage. I hope you got something out of this. Uh, we hope to produce more videos soon about the art of lighting. If there's anything specific you want to know more about, please leave a comment and we'll uh, work on producing a video for you. See ya!